Alright, so we're going to be redoing now creating hole number two, which is hole in a cube, which is exercise two. So we're going to go make a box, any number size again, and we're going to go to the modify and type in 40 by 40 by 40 and 2, 2, 2. Then we're going to place it back in the middle at 0, 0. Okay. From here now we're going to go back to wireframe and we're going to convert it to a edible poly. We're going to open up the vertexes and we're going to connect the lines. So we're going to go to connect, click on one, hold control, two, three, connect, then go one, two, three, connect, and do the same thing to the other side. We're going to go grab one, two, three, connect, and then go one, two, three and press connect okay now that we connected both sides the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab this corner here and press alt and rotate and click this one as well on the other side and we're going to use the chamfer so for the chamfer we're going to put it at let's just put it at 15 there we go we see we have it done and we're going to press ok so there's our piece. Next thing we're going to do is go on our polygons, click the front face, press delete, rotate it to the back, click the polygon, and erase. So now we have the square that we need. The next thing to do is we're going to have to make a bridge between them all. So we're going to go use edge, click on one of the edges, and press loop. Go to the other side as well, click one of the edges holding control, and press loop. Now, it's very important so we get a perfect one that we remove this and this or any one of them that are parallel to each other. So we're going to hold the Alt button and we're going to minus this guy and we're going to minus this one over here. And we're going to use the bridge option right over here. As you can tell, it bridged it together. The next step we're going to do is click this edge here with the one we had just removed and press bridge as well. So now we have this beautiful piece. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to select this edge here press loop again, go to the other side, click on this one, hopefully it works at the same time, press loop, and we're going to add a chamfer. So go to the chamfer, and let's put it at point 0.2, point 0.5, so we see it, okay, there's a point 0.5 one, uh, point 0.7, okay, press OK, and now we have the chamfer on both sides. With those chamfers selected, what I suggest you do now is we're going to go now to our modifier list and we're going to go to the mesh smooth. We're going to click on that and we're going to uncheck apply to the whole piece. And now you see here, here we have a perfect smooth. Let's go put here to two. Let's go put this to three. And the more we put, the more smoother the hole it gets. Once that's done, click, go back to clay. And there you have, you have a hole inside a box. So there you go. Let me just rotate again, and let me just put it in a better one that you guys can see, a oh, that boundary box, faucet. As you can see, it's a hole in a box. Thank you very much.